Hi there, this is a quick video to show you how you can use Advanced Scene Switcher to control media sources without having to use any buttons. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm using my voice to activate the webcam and the silence to deactivate it. One of the things that you might actually notice once you've installed advanced scene switcher is that it doesn't show up where you usually expect them, you know, like a filter within one of the sources or scenes. Um, you find it in the tools menu. So you can see it in here. And in our case, what we've, uh, I've done is I've set up a group and I created two macros. And the macros, which you can see uh, here, I have currently switched on the visual settings, which actually shows when it is likely to activate uh, any of these objects below. So all that we're asking it to do is if the audio from the microphone uh, has an output volume um, of minus 60 decibels and above, then activate. Now what we're seeing here, thanks to that setting that I've got in there, is that it is uh, identifying that we are over 60 decibels so it would then continue on and uh, uh, activate these items here but in the case that it has already done this uh, we've got this tick box here it says perform actions only if conditions change so the, ch the conditions haven't changed so we're not actually seeing these highlight down here but if I give it a second or two, what will happen is that I will disappear from here, saying that the other macro has activated and, and disabled the audio. And then the next time I speak, we'll actually see one of these highlight or both of these highlight in green. Now, there are two here because there is uh, one which is the webcam itself and one uh, I've got a second source, which is the thing that's given me that purple little border around my, my myself. Uh, so that's why you're actually seeing it activate two things but you can have it activate or deactivate or do anything on as many sources if you want but uh, so gameplay is the name of my scene and what I'm asking it to do is show the webcam and again same scene show the shadow cam and that's all we're asking it to do so if I'm quiet for two seconds And then I speak again, we saw that it highlighted the two at the bottom, suggesting that uh, it works exactly as expected. So that's all there is to it as far as enabling it. Um, now we have this running in parallel with other macros because we also have the hide cam, which has got to do the same job except in reverse. So what we have in here is the same again. For, but I've added a timer on this, so that's why I was saying wait two seconds. If the audio from the mic uh, for at least two seconds has a, a very, very low output volume, so this is almost exactly the same as the uh, uh, as the input mic, but it's slightly above, and it's just because I found there was a bit of a problem if they were set to the same level. So I've set this one only slightly above the 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 setting I had on the other macro, and I also found that if you have it set to decibels, the success is much better. If I have it set to a percentage, for whatever reason, it's it's not as good. So again, here what we're seeing is we're doing the same web. But in this case, we're in this case we're telling it to hide the webcam and hide the shadow cam. So if I shut my mouth for a second, there we go. And we saw it highlight in green that it has actually activated those uh, those uh, sources and hidden them and brought them back again. Um, thanks to the first macro. And that's it. It's a straightforward task. It's a great way for you to not have to worry about finding a button or finding a hotkey to uh, enable the uh, camera every time you want to speak. Uh, the only other thing that I've done is uh, you can, uh, on top of this, go into the uh, settings, uh, which I've, for, here we go, settings. And if you have a look in the settings in here and go to hotkeys and type in advanced, uh, you can have a hotkey 
to toggle on the advanced scene switcher itself. So if you don't want the camera to appear at all, or if you want it on permanently, then you can obviously set a hotkey to disable the macros for the time being, and that will take care of uh, that, and you won't have to worry about yourself popping up when you, you don't want to be during a recording session. I hope that all made sense and I hope it's straightforward enough to, to follow. If there's actually a better way of doing this, please let me know. If there's a filter that does everything that I uh, explained there, I'm, I'm willing to give that a go. But the frustrating thing for me was that I couldn't see anything obvious like that. It's not very often that I actually worry about appearing on the camera myself, but I do actually like the idea of having the control to do so. And if I can avoid having to hunt for any buttons or look for uh, where on the desk my stream deck has slid to, then all the better.